widgets are snippets of PHP code that you can embed into your blog to add extra functionality to it. There are lots of places where you can embed a widget and what type of widgets you can have and where you can put them are going to vary depending on the theme that you're using. For example, on this particular theme that I'm using now, you can see there's places for widgets here at the left and there's also places at the right and although you can't actually see them there are also places for them at the top and bottom as well and as you can see it's saying that there are currently no widgets assigned so let's take care of that now if I come to the dashboard and to install a widget it's actually quite simple come over here to appearance and then click widgets and you can see if I just move over a bit here there are various places where you can install the widgets you can have on the left sidebar right sidebar above the header in the header the menu bar over the blog under the blog or in the footer and as I said earlier where you can put the widgets is going to vary depending on the type of theme that you're using. Now let's say that I want to insert some widgets here into the left sidebar. It's quite easy. All I do is simply come over to this side where you'll find all the available widgets. You can see the ones we've got all down there. And what you do, it's quite simple bring the mouse cursor over the name of the widget hold down the left mouse button if you're using a PC and drag it across and put it underneath where you want it to go in this particular case it's going to be in the left sidebar there are various settings you can have and the settings are going to vary depending on the type of widget in this particular case it's asking me for a title so I'll just give it a title here and then click on save and there we go that's done and if I go back to the main blog page and just refresh it you can see it's installed the widget here in the left sidebar let's add a few more let's add classic bookmark again just drag and drop like that and again it's asking me for a title so let's put bookmarks and then save and let's have one more let's have Google Translator again just gonna drag and drop it like that and I won't put a title on there just to show you what it looks like if you leave that blank and again click on save Now if I go back to the main blog and refresh it again, you can see that we've got Google Translate and we've got the bookmarks now installed. Now if you want to change the order that the widgets are in, again very simple, I'll just reduce these here so they don't take up quite so much space. all you do is drag and drop and move them around so if I want to move bookmarks up above translator I can do that if it'll let me there we go sometimes it can be a bit tricky doing this there we go and again if I come back and refresh you can see we now have them in a different order we've got calendar then bookmarks and then Google Translate. 
If you want to get rid of a widget, two ways to do that. You can either come back to the widgets page here, click on the little arrow, click on the delete link, and there you are, it's gone. And if I come back again to the blog and refresh, and you can see now that that's gone. There's just the calendar and the bookmarks. Go back to the, the widgets page here. The other way is to simply drag and drop it back into the available widgets. Hold down the left mouse button, drag it over to this side, release it, and you can see it's gone. And if I come back to the main page here and refresh it again, there we go it's gone completely and likewise if you want to add it to another sidebar let's say I want to put something on the right sidebar let's say I want to have archives on the right sidebar again drag it over and then you've got you can display you have several settings here display as a drop down Let's just select that one and then save that. And that's done. I'll come back and refresh it. And there we go. You can see we've got the archives there. And I can select from the drop down menu. And that's how you can add and use WordPress widgets in the sidebar of your WordPress blog.